Hello everyone, it is your Black Knight. And here we are on Plant Manhattan. Next to the the building that was built from the original sleeper ship. From the Liberty. There it is. That's where they landed. Built everything around it. And it looks like we got a little Patriot here. Cute little thing. Except... Not really. That's a Patriot. Let's look at what the Patriot does. Let's compare the two ships. This is a Patriot. This is an Infiltrator. This has a resale value of 8 million. This is worth 7.6k. What's the difference here? The Infiltrator is a lightly modified Liberty Patriot fighter. Lightly modified! With an upgraded scanner for longer range scans, retrofitted cloaking device, and a highly modified cruise engine. The enhanced sensor package and stealth package are designed for use in scout and sc scout and spy applications. Other than that, I believe the the numbers are similar. Armor is thirteen hundred, except this one doesn't have a comma. Cargo space twenty five. Guns are four and four. Two, three. All the all the actual weapons spots in there are the same. Additional equipment it has cloak and something else. Let's look let's look at that in the uh, the ship repair thing maybe it'll show up better. If it needs any repairs, and doesn't, doesn't appear to need any. Does it have any other descriptions? Oh, this does have paralyzer missiles on. I have to drop those off at a store ship somewhere along the line. Paralyzer, I believe, is a missile. You, you get these in game from you know stealing them from a wreck, but they're not really. You can't really use them unless you've got the paralyzer. I think you could purchase the paralyzer as far as a. A donation to the server, but I, I, I've never done, I've never gotten it. And the paralyzer is an EMP missile, so it basically knocks out shields. I don't remember if you lose that. I don't think you lose that ammo if you get killed. But we're gonna we're, we probably should dump that someplace before we do anything real creative with this. Uh, I have this set up with you know the standard Patriot killer, you know. Killer mine uh, setup here, where you you have the, the strongest uh, uh, shield uh, gun that you have that takes out shields. It doesn't do anything to the to the hull basically, but you put a ripper mine on it and hope that you knock out the shields and pop them with a mine. It's a real high risk kind of thing. Let me see here now. Do we have selecting a character? Anything nearby? Now let's see. We we got. We've got a Valkyrie in New York. Okay, where is this? Oh, P Pittsburgh, okay. Is this a store? Yeah, this is a store ship, okay. Does it have any paralyzers on it? Okay, no, that's just, let's see, weapon, ammo. No, but we could, we could throw. We could drop these missiles. Let's do that. New York is quiet tonight. Now, I don't think this is a cloaking Valkyrie. We could try it. It'd be funny if this was also a cloaker. It is! Oh, this is the cloaking Valkyrie. All right. So we have both cloak ships here. Well, that, that's fortuitous. Now this Valk is, I believe, identical to a regular Valk except for the cloak. It doesn't have any additional speed. I remember something vaguely about there's something about it that lets you surf planets. Like it can really do some weird things as far as that's concerned. But as far as being a ship, it's a regular ship. So we're gonna we're gonna fly off to Maine here. This is just a big ball in the sky. 
But the nice thing about me is if you're going to do a... Uh, if you're going to transfer between ships, it's not a bad place to be because you're just enough outside the range here. Like Pittsburgh 7.8k, so you shouldn't show up on anybody's scanners. So now we select a new character. Okay. That will be that will be concerning if we're if we're actually doing this. Hopefully it doesn't do too much of that. A cloaking Volk would be something fun to drive around with, too. So, I mean, I'm almost tempted to make this not... Ooh, Minor 35. Departing player. Did my little Patriot scare you, sir? No, probably just departing anyway. Doc. Or maybe he was in the process of landing? I don't know. Do you switch out to something else? There's CV CSV Hunter X in Hamburg. X usually means pirate, so that would be a hostile player. That's the, you know, the informal way that was developed, I believe, to tell people, look, you put an X after you, that means that you're going after other players. So there, there's no surprises. They're not trying to jump you and say, "Oh, I thought we were friendly." No, no. Yeah, there's an X in the in the little box. You know that was telegraphed. Let's zip up here. And the the cruise engines are twice as powerful as the normal ones. It's a speedy little thing. Trade lane disrupted. So speedy that it's almost worth it just to hit this. It might be worth it just to hit this. Rather than wait for it to come back, we could just zip up to the next one really quick. Hold on one second, someone's calling for me. You need me come out. No, you're not coming in here. Go. Ah, always something, isn't it? Where's my audio? Do I, do I have audio? I'm not hearing nothing. I think my headphones are definitely finally packing it in. I've only had one ear for the longest time. I wonder if I still have you know, audio here. Let's 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 shut this down here and hold on for a second. Okay, I can hear now. So let us, just to clean things up, I don't think, I don't think you lose your ammo when you get killed anyway, but. Cargo, jettison, shield, deactivated. It's been too long since, for me, remember, shield and I, activated. I may do some dangerous things with this little thing. Give it even a little extra, select new character, the Valkyrie. And the, the cloak is a funny thing. It takes a certain amount of time from when you first come in for it to work. Enemy contact in sight. 
And then there's a, a long regen on it. I don't remember how long. It's like a minute or something like that. Go to. Like at this rate, it might not cloak before we can land. <laughs> Doc. You see the guns on this. Not optimal. This isn't an optimal build. This is a throw together build. I do like the German ships, the, the Rhineland ships. I love the style on them, the chunkiness. And now we've, we've put those missiles over here. Now we've got them on here, so... And a lot of other stuff. So if I if I wanted to set up another ship, sky rail turrets. What, there's a reason we wanted those. Right, class five. So I guess that's something you could put on a uh, on something like a dromedary. And of course, some nomad guns. The the cloaking device, I believe, is the exact same on both of them. And when you poof in there, I think, yeah, it starts to, to get, you know, when you first load the character, you don't have it immediately. But we can cut, like, straight here through to, uh... Let's, like, set a target for the, for the battleship Missouri or something like that. And then just go cross country. Go to. Does that take us? It'll take us close to. Close to the minefield that, that keeps you from Alaska, which we can we can visit that at some point. Let's see. Do I have a neutral? I believe I have a neutral rep on this. Yeah, a neutral rep. For something that was this expensive, I don't remember if it was eight million to, to buy it or not. That's what this resale is, so it might be a little more than that. This is not a cheap ship. I don't remember what what uh, base you buy at either. I can I can look that up. We'll hit that perhaps in the. Uh, I'll cut a clip in or something, put that in at the end. I'll look it up on the forums. The forums are still great down there, too. You know, there's a lot of information. If you go to freelancer-universe.com, gives you all the information on the mod and different things like that. I want to take this over to Pittsburgh. I'm not, I'm not going to make this like a three-hour video, I don't think. But I want to take it over to Pittsburgh and just use it to explore... There was one other trade lane that I don't remember there being a trade lane there. Maybe it was one. But it was unfamiliar to me, and I thought, I wonder if this is something new. This here, I believe, is where the minefield is that protects the gate to Alaska. This is just a little candle, you know, it's this cute little ship. A giant headlight, I mean, you know, it's the only big boom about is the Ripper Mine and that you have to be kind of lucky. They do track, but I mean, not, not like it's a missile. And they kind of track whatever is close, you know? Kinda. So if you zoom on someone and release it right in their face, you might get them. You might blow yourself up too, because this thing doesn't have a lot of armor or shields. Objective 
But if you're in a, a non-threatening environment, which largely I am, and you just want to skip around and look at stuff, this is perfect. Should note that this is oh, I was wrong one. This one I want the chat window. Name Maximilian. This is named, of course, after uh, the former leader of base, Phlegmatic. Real life name was Max, so therefore. Hence, and he was one in a million. Or is one in a million. Can't talk about Max without the, the whole mystery of the suicide of Phlegmatic. Was it just this character or was it a person in real life? We don't really know. There is a base, and I believe we already have. There's, there's one of my more popular videos, secret bases and stuff like that, and freelancer is featured there. Doc. I'll throw a link in the description. And there's, I believe I went. I have to watch that video again. It's been a long time since I've watched it. It's the story of phlegmatic, spelled with an F, F L E G M A T I K. The man appreciated puns, I'll say that. I had Phlegmatic, Automatic, Prag was another. It was like a family of Maddox. Prag, Auto, Phleg. The main character being Phleg. Let's see, where is... This is what we want to see anyway. Let's just cut to the chase. We should have a quick ride back. There's not a patrol path out there. But we'll pick up anything in between. As you can see, we really are zipping quite along really well here. 600 clicks per second or whatever that works out to. This was a ship I got and didn't really use all that much. There's a lot of heavy ships in here. There's a gate there. Gate to where? Like, this might be part of the mod. Because I don't remember there being a lane going you know, behind the planet like this. Unknown jump gate. Set, set your course for the unknown jump gate. Like this here, I believe, is vanilla. I don't think this is. So this is to something new and different. And we'll know in about 5k. Once we get inside 10k, it should identify. Florida. Now, Florida is not... Doc. That is not a stock vanilla system. That's something that was added. Well, let's go to Florida. This is a system I've never seen. At least I don't think I've seen it. Someone will point out, oh, you did this video on it five years ago. Okay, well, I forgot, but... I wonder if it's very humid here. It looks humid. It does, in fact... Okay, wow. Oskaloa Base. How does one say that? I'm not a Floridian. Moving to target. 
What is here? What's fighting? Outcasts and Navy. Okay. The look here is very interesting. It's, it's, it's very Kusari. An unknown planet over here. Okay, we're, we're coming out of the, the haze. Okay, we, we let's hit all the let's hit this base. Dock it up. Oh, this is the you know, Robocop's bases are so cool. He puts thought to it. Make sure you get some food over here, and yet there's enough to to meet its its you know its mission, whatever its mission may be. And the door is closed, and you're here. Class Cochran. Boron gate lane parts. So, you know, some of those have some light arms. Light arms are probably contraband. Okay, they might not be. Superconductors. Let's see, it's home to Interspace Commerce, the principal manufacturer of trade lane and jump gate technology. I-66 used the Florida system as a jump-off point towards star systems recently identified having potential for development. So we can we can explore here a little bit what the uh, the values are. So best stone price means I haven't been a lot of places. So Freeport 10, you could buy these here and fly them to Freeport 10 and make you know, 10 times your money. Light arms, same thing. Almost ten times your money to Omicron Alpha. So this is a this would be nice if you set up an LT on here. Super alloy. You know ship, shipyard in Alaska. Now that's a pretty quick run. If you can get through the minefield. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the rest of the system. All right, what are our options here? Tupelo Bend. Planet Sarasota. I guess we'll go with the planet first. Definitely we've got a few planets in here. And a nice cloud. It looks like we can cruise around the whole uh, the whole system. Plant Sarasota. But what are we going to learn about Plant Sarasota that we can land in? That's a very Kusari vibe again. Defender and Rhino, so it's definitely still a Liberty system. Mostly covered in deep saltwater oceans, Sarasota has become popular among upper-class Manhattanites for its challenging and often, often dangerous deep-sea fishing charters. While commercial fishing is plentiful and profitable, it's the game fishing that makes Sarasota a destination for a hotspot in Liberty space. That's interesting. So it's mostly a fishing kind of thing. And there's a standard Liberty Bar. 
Marion Sims. It's Barney Tolock. Did we not see Barney Tolock flying earlier? And I said, you hardly ever see the names again. And here he is. We mentioned him in the previous video. It was like a, his name came up somewhere. Was he in the bar or was he, was he flying? Maybe he just was in the bar and this is just a standard bar guy. I don't know. Now I have to go look at the other video. Sergeant Barney Tolock. Someone was proud of that. <laughs> Lieutenant Dave Moose. And you got some relatively high playing high playing, high paying missions here. Barney Tolock. I mean, I, hope, I was talking all about Barney Tolock. I thought that's a heck of a name. Apparently, I wasn't the only person who thought Barney Tolock was. The TT Bend. What are we looking at? Not too much in the way here. Wow, this is a big system. Look at this. I'm glad I've got the ship with the enhanced sensors for this. Oh yeah, there's a lot of potential for exploring Florida. There's the, the TT cloud. There's got to be something hidden in the TT cloud. Okay. Plant Pensacola. Will there be a new Miami? We'll have to figure it out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this around the standard exploration points for this video, and then we'll call it good. And then maybe another time, we'll you know we'll, we'll hop back in here. I'm going to leave the ship parked somewhere in Florida, and we'll we'll do a full deep dive exploration of the hidden you know, features, if any. Because really, this is big enough to doesn't really need to be like a whole lot of hidden wrecks or anything like that, or jump holes or anything like that to make this interesting. They've they put a lot into this system. This has echoes of uh, Colorado. Again, see the again the, the high the high def mod, hawks and barracudas. That's different. Pensacola is a rugged plant with a rough, beautiful, vi beautiful vistas, attractive to the arts crowd as well as outdoor outdoors enthusiasts. Why can't I talk today? Hunters, hikers, and campers. Outdoors enthusiasts, hunters, hikers, and campers. Okay. Herbal spawn crews maintains a presence here and caters to those tourists who just want to get away. from room at all. Literally. Okay. I did not look at what was uh, purchasable there, but you know, any of these could be trade plant kind of things. We'll have to... Yeah, the good news is that since we've landed there, we can now just... Consumer goods, farm super alloys, and superconductors. Okay, so there's some... Some of those are non-standard things you can buy. Orlando Station. Yeah, there's definitely some things out here. Hopefully there's plant Apalachicola, because that, that rolls off the tongue so well.
in some plant where you can, it's the only place you can find the humidity. That's the name of the ship. It's Oki Finoki. Okay, now, now we're getting into it. Orlando Station looks nice. Food production place. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. So what's special about Orlando Station? It's a lot of the same, the same commodities. Universal, Universal Shipping's Florida base. Okay. Standard fare. So we got the Oki Finoki over here. Hudson Jump Gate. Hudson's another system. Planet Pensacola is the way we came, man. We should, I think, get Hudson on the map. But we're going to pop right back through. Then we'll take the Oki Finoki Bend. It's a lot to see here. You can imagine back when this came out and like there are all these systems like this where you didn't know where anything was. This is like really the, the heart of exploration. Hudson. I don't think Hudson was a standard one either, although no, maybe it was. Maybe Hudson will be immediately familiar to me. It's been a while. Is this linking us? Did this jump us to Hudson and then into Rhineland space? Somewhere I have the book. I can look up what all the vanilla stuff was, but Yeah, I think let's 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 pull up the main yeah, Hudson takes us to Hamburg. Yeah, Hudson and Bering are the pair. That's the, the pair of, of trades over here. So this is this is back to Vanilla. So let us go back to, now that we have it on the map, Florida. And we'll get ourselves back to Florida here and keep looking around. I never much went through Hudson. I was always, you know, Bering was always such an important system. I forgot about Hudson. We may have had a system battle there once or twice. I could scram this pretty quickly with these shield killers. We're not going to do that. So the Oki Fanoki Bend. 
we'll, we'll try and speed dog this a little bit. Dog. What we'll do is we'll we'll do the standard exploration here. And then me for the next one we'll put spoiler alert on it and we'll try and go find the stuff in the clouds. That's here's just the end of the bend. Dog. Oh, Ocala, okay. That has a desert plant look to it. I wonder if it's one you can land on. Yep, yep, there's the trade. There's the, uh, the docking ring. Dock in use. Entering queue. The spinning plants, I think I've mentioned before, that's part of the mod. The original ones did not spin. And what ships are available for purchase? First of all, what? Um, I'm seeing empty. Patriot like fire. Okay, so there, there's only one ship available and there's three spots. Okay, I get it. I thought there were two new invisible ships or something. It's an arid world with little to attract tourism dollars, but there is a great. There are great expectations that minerals and other raw materials are plentiful under the shifting sands of the planet's landscape. Okay, so it's it's a not much planet. But they got stuff to sell. You know, stuff to sell here and buy and Construction machinery, then mostly standard stuff. Okay, we're going through all the bars and everything else like that, but you know, you want we want to check this whole system out real quick. The Tupelo Bend. Dog. So are we working our way around here? Oh, we're really... What do we miss here? Did something not come up on the map? Something didn't register? Maybe that's yeah, just the bend. Maybe there's nothing there. And this might be just a bend, so therefore we would have seen all the bases. Danger. Radiation damage. Detected. Interesting. Dock. Something clearly right there.
But we'll make this a spoiler-free video, so we'll, we'll just... Uh, we'll hold off just yet. We've got the right chip for it, though. Maybe not for a lot of radiation damage, but... We're getting back out of it, yeah. We'll zip along. And we're back around again. Here's where we came in. Stop. So I think what we'll do is we'll... Cast. Now, you know what? I'm not going to settle down on Pacerosaurus right now. We're going to head over here. Then we'll zip back down and take a look through that cloud. Maybe next video. Which I don't know if I'm going to maintain these as a week-to-week -week kind of thing. If I get the opportunity, I will. That's the goal. We'll see what happens. And we'll see what kind of interest we've got, you know? Not only your interest, but mine. <laughs> so on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm interested. We'll see how it all goes. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night.